So, Concordia, who does it really serve? Well, I, today it feels like it's, 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 it's serving those of us who are very much involved in trying to create these partnerships. And by giving, you know, we're excited to work this way. Uh, Partners in Food Solutions, uh, the, 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 the uh, nonprofit organization that, uh, that we founded, that has been, you know, very, very successful. And to, you know, have a forum where we can talk about what we've done and how we put it together and how it works and to be among people who are kind of share that commitment to, uh, to accomplishing things through partnerships. The story of Partners in Food Solutions is which, by the way, I didn't create. It was other people who did it. I certainly supported it. But it's a, it's it's highly creative, and just to see how the puzzles fit together, and to see how that part partnership added capability in a very logical way, to see the strategy of the partnership and its focus on in the middle of that value chain in, in in Africa. So, I mean, I think hopefully it's inspiring to a lot of other people to think along these lines. I mean, General Mills was drawn to this model because we do not have boots on the ground in Africa. Uh, we have a very small footprint, and yet we knew as a very highly capable food company we should be trying to make a difference there. The components came together you know, out of need and out of very specific roles. The four corporate partners, General Mills and Cargill and uh, DSM uh, and um, a Bueller in Switzerland and now and now Hershey each brings very distinctive capabilities and also uh, different kinds of geographic reach so there's those fit together very very well obviously we needed Technoserve to be our on the ground partner in Africa to really help you know deliver you know that part uh, of the of the model uh, we needed uh, people who really understood the financing issues that these small companies face uh, in Africa so we brought on board Root Capital who've been tremendously helpful and then you know. We needed uh, someone who would really believe in us and give us some funding at a very early stage. And this was, uh, this was USAID who, who stepped forward at a critical moment and said, we really believe in this uh, and we're going to help you get it going and get it up and running. And so they've been our partner you know, now for, from, the, from the very beginning. So you know, the different pieces, I think, came together in a, in a, in a very logical way and, and uh, it's, been very, it's been powerful.